So here is our AR sandbox installation that's at the Children's Museum in Skagit County, Washington. We have it uh, set up, as you can see, with kind of a bunk bed pattern. Still kind of messy up top, but it's uh, very functional. We are getting some buttons that are going to be available as well for changing out things, such as the flood, the drying, the lava, and our lovely snow. We also have localized water on. Grab the mouse here, so we can go to a spot, and we have it mapped so we can do a localized water, as well as a localized dry. And of course that does work across the board, say that we're on lava. Or Rain cloud works well. And of course, so does the topology updating. We have looked at getting both uh, foot pedals and a handheld button mechanism for changing things out for the kids. Because right now it is all done manually via the uh, keyboard. Holding the hand out makes a nice rain cloud. We would also like to figure out how to map a button for pausing topography. For example, we can right click and pause the updating. And now, the map does not realize if we're making changes. We can still use the flooding. It'll still follow the existing topography that was set up. However, if we change something, say digging a huge hole right here, or filling it up with sand, whether it's existing, if he doesn't recognize that currently. So then when we unpause it, it updates instantly and of course refreshes and works. We'd like to find a way to map that to a key so we're able to toggle it back and forth, therefore allowing the children to basically, you know, pause it build something and then either learn about how the changes in land can make the effects or make predictions on how things might happen.
So we can now say, okay, what do you think is going to happen when we unpause? And of course, they can watch it update and have the water flow away. We are using the Santastic sand in here. We have our evaporation rate currently set to, I believe, 0 0.025 seems to be a pretty good rate. It allows the, uh, the liquid to still be interacted with, but it's kind of self-sustaining. It doesn't actually fill up with liquid as it evaporates. It's, um, I'm trying to see there with the F2. It's our lava. F1 is water. F2 is lava. F3 is snow. And we have 0 and 9 mapped for flooding and drying. And then tab and enter mapped for localized water and localized drying. It's all done. The uh, script that runs at boot when it is launched automatically goes to full screen. And we have the option as well to hide the cursor if we choose to. Since we have a localized setting on, then we decided to leave that available for the time being. We hope you come by and play with this if you can. If you can't, we hope you enjoy the video.